uh, that the absence of Creed Humphrey, we've talked about it in the past, I think is fascinating from the standpoint that the offensive line, again, as we go over from time to time, is the most uh, the unit in most need of cohesiveness right. and coordination. And then you take away a player, and usually we're just talking about the talent void. But with him, we're talking about the knowledge void. We're talking about the leadership void. And he was just a very valuable player. And so they they have capable people to step in. But um, there's almost an intangible there that can't be accounted for until you get the guys together and um, the, the bullets start to fire. Yeah, I mean, I think that's a good point, Mark. When you look at the the totality of this roster coming into 2021, you know, and, and the pieces that they need to uh, that they need to replace. Certainly, there's there's there at the center position. There's some things on on the defensive side of the ball, on the cornerback side, the secondary. But the center to me is probably the the biggest. Not not that I would say a concern is that, but is the biggest area that they need someone to step up and, and be that guy. And you know, listening to um, Bill Beadbo, listening to Lincoln Riley, it looks like Chris Murray will be that guy. They're it seems like they're laying pretty much all of their cards really in that deck. Not necessarily that there's other kids not working there. Um, Nate Anderson is a guy who's a um, who was a true freshman last year who, who's who's getting some some time. There's a, another kid named Ian MacGyver who's playing who's played a little bit. He's been in a backup role to uh, to Creed Humphrey. He's not not quite as talented, not quite as physical as the other kids. So there's a couple of people that are working it, but Chris Murray is the guy that they think is in. It. Bill Beanbill likes to move his kids around a lot on the offensive line, offensive side of the ball, offensive line side of the ball, I should say. Um, specifically during spring, he likes to put people in different positions, see see what works. He's been quoted as saying several times he doesn't necessarily look for the five best. He looks for the five best that work together the best in terms of your, your point on cohesiveness. So I think Murray is a guy who is strictly working center. You know, last year he played guard for Oklahoma a little bit, uh, so I think he's he's strictly works center. You know, through the through the off season and now in spring ball, he'll continue to do that through. You know, and, and talked a little bit about he talked a little bit about a lot of fans um, in the interview with with Chris Murray this week. A lot of fans, you know, think that, gosh, you know, we're we're so we're what five months away from football actually kicking off but you know it's it's not a long time from his perspective because he's got to do a lot of things on the mental side of things and just um you know just cohesively cohesively you know with the, with the unit to jail and and really kind of looking at that from a mental aspect as well because you know the center as you know the center position certainly is the quarterback around the uh, on the offensive line I only know this because somebody mentioned this to me yesterday, Jason, 155 days till September 4th and opening day. So you've got the official count right there. 